Hello there, I'm in the crease with our champion captain, Nick Valley. Let's go, Rob! Yeah! Uh, he's holding the cup because he just won the cup. Uh, congratu huge congratulations to you. Thank you very uh, much, sir. Um, tell us, uh, first of all, tell us uh, a little bit about the details. Like, how how do you guys manage to neutralize uh, Vickers and, um, and Atkinson? Mostly Vickers. You guys did a great yeah. job on him. You know, they're a great team, but here's the thing, and this is what I've been saying since the beginning of the year. Look, all of these guys, our team included, they're trying to be too fancy with it. I'm telling them, go back to the basics. None of my goals were fancy. It was just it. See? It's as simple as that. Just the fundamentals. Bam. There you go. But still, I mean, you got to admit, you guys played well. You guys have uh, a lot of players who have played on the team for multiple years, True. and you sort of keep the players. Um, do, do you think that's the key, like playing well together, passing? Absolutely. Absolutely. We got that very good chemistry. I think we only had, oh, well, we had one new guy, and he, uh, he quit. So, uh, you know what? It's okay. No? No. <laughs> He, he kicked him off. Okay, yeah. you know what? That's fine. We still won. Doesn't matter. But you know what? Yeah, we had a core group of guys that uh, that have been playing together for a very long time, and that chemistry is definitely key. Awesome, awesome. So obviously, winning the cup is some uh, is a big moment for you in your in your career in the BHL. Uh, what else has been good for you in your career, your long career at the BHL? The community. You know, it's just so much fun chirping Liam Watson <laughs> behind the camera. You know. This, you know, people underestimate the ball hockey league. I think it's the best part of the school's culture. Nobody talks about it, but it's definitely a lot of fun. So, Awesome. Well, congratulations again, and um, that was awesome. Hi there. In the no, crease. No. This We're is my interview. <laughs> We're asking All the right. questions here. Okay. We are in the yeah, crease. Yeah, Roughnecks! Yes, Roughnecks! Okay. We are in the crease with Liam Watson, Ryan Gross, and um, Mr. Enfield. Mr. Jeff Amazing Enfield, yes. Yes. the uh, former Steamers alumni. Now, Mr. Great. Enfield, how does it feel to know that the Steamers did not win this year? Uh, not great, not great. Yeah. They're, my, they're my favorite team by far. Uh, <laughs> I like their captain. He's my favorite captain by far. Um, and yeah, I mean, I mean, it was a tough year for me. Alright, alright. Alright, so uh, we're here in the crease with Mr. Enfield. Uh, <laughs> alright, so uh, basically, sir, uh, as you can see, we have our three graduating grade nines all the way to grade 12 yes, uh, coming do, out yes. to do an interview. Yeah, right on. All of the three, who is your favorite? <laughs> you already kind of answered that question. I don't know. <laughs> Liam Watson for sure. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he's gone. All right, you got the last Sir, one. Sir, why didn't I see the steamer by and shine through with the rest of the steamer? I was trying my best. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I knew honest. it. That goal wasn't uh, good. Yeah. You, know, I, you know, I was trying my best, but, uh, you know, I don't know. It, some, sometimes the, the best team wins, I, I, and I think that did happen this year. All right, and I one more question. <laughs> Mr. Rankin, who do you think will win the Democratic primary in the United States of America this year? Okay, great interview, guys. <laughs>